Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1255 for Friday, December 31st, 2010. New Year's Eve with the Techno Tunes MP3 Watch. The Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Ford and Voice Activated Sync, featuring true hands free calling, turn by turn directions, 911 assist, and more. Available exclusively on Ford and Lincoln Mercury vehicles. And now, get ready for Dick. Should old gadgets be forgot and never brought to mind? When old gadgets are forgot, where will they go to die? Where will they go to die, my dear? Where will they go to die? We'll toast to gadgets of days past when they all go to die. In, this is terrible. In Dick's Gadget <laughs> Warehouse. It doesn't even rhyme. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, oh, oh. he takes them out to play. Oh, oh. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. And now, it is the little old gadget guy, Dick D. Bartolo. Happy New Year, Dick! Hey. The Vuvuzela, quick! Oh. Oh, <laughs> and me without my Vuvuzela. Yeah, oh, you don't have your Vuvuzela. Well, thank oh, God I have a wow. Vuvuzela keeper. There oh, you go. Oh, okay. Wow. There we go. How are you? Happy New Year. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh. Where's the other you Vuvuzela? May have, you may have chocolate, but do you have. I don't any? have dots. Uh, do you remember Dots? On the fireplace? Somebody no. stole my other Vuvuzela. No, tell me about Dots. They are delicious, no, no, aren't they? Dots, the chat room probably were no Dots there. When I was a kid, they sold Dots at the candy counter. They're like... Um, I remember them. Yeah, they're chewy. Pull, they're yeah, gooey. Like chewy, pull, pull your gums out kind of thing. Yeah, uh, Pull that. your uh, fillings out. Jujube kind of uh, thing? Uh, not, uh, much uh, gooier. Way gooey, way gooey. Much gooier. Much gooier. Gooier. How are you? What are ah, you doing tonight, Happy Leo? New Year. You know, um, I'm going to bed early, <laughs> believe it or not. Serious? Yeah, you know, I'm not a, you know, as I get older, like ever since I've been 24, I just, yeah. I can't stay up past 10, 11 a night. Oh, isn't there big doings in Petaluma? Well, the um, chicken thigh that falls at midnight. Yeah, the chicken thigh falls at midnight. Yeah. On the we have the on the you know the old big clock out front of the Mason Center. Right. They hang a string to the to the ground and they drop the chicken down there. And uh, when the chicken hits, Happy New Year. Well, okay. <laughs> not for the chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody yeah, else yeah. gets to celebrate. No, it's not. It, I'm going to go to a restaurant, but, you know, they have two seatings. They have the early seating and the midnight seating, and I'm going to the early seating. Oh, okay, well, the early seating at 4.30 in the yeah, afternoon. Yeah, exactly. It's an early bird special. <laughs> oh. uh, we get 30% off if we're over 55, so I think that's oh. pretty cool. Yeah. No, I'm not. A, I've never been a New Year's Eve. I, I get sleepy. Do you? What are you oh. doing? I'm going to go up to Central Park for the fireworks. Oh, you you mentioned that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, there's, you know, uh, a lot of people go, but Central Park is enormous. Um, so there's, well, you can be all by yourself and watch You them. can have That's a great. bush all of your own. You can, yes, you can. Oh, you've gone. Oh, one, yes. At one point, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, last year I had a light bulb that was designed for the ball that fell uh, on Times Square. And this oh, that's year, right. They, yeah, I didn't. I couldn't find a themed New Year's Eve thing, but I did find my old. Uh, well, let me look at the box here because I want to get the official name of this uh, wristwatch. Oh, my Techno Tunes. Oh, I remember that. 
Techno Tunes wristwatch. Was you, it, you, you I think you did. No, but I think you did that as an you actual gadget. You know what, Leo? I went through the search and I could not find it. Oh, really? It. Okay. But Maybe well, I have okay. one. No, 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 that's okay because it was. Oh, wait a minute. We can tell if I did it or not. It came out in 2004. No. So we. No, we that, was, doing, that yeah. predates the Gizwiz. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it predates the Gizwiz. So um came with 120 megabytes. <laughs> That's kind of laughable nowadays. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was they—they they made two versions. Uh, I had this is the 128 mega version. Uh, then they had the really deluxe 256 megabyte version, which could hold 28. Wow. Of your favorite songs. Two whole CDs worth. Yeah. This translates to almost three hours of music. <laughs> wow. And, and someone said. Well, you know what? The, there's no thing on the screen where you can see what songs are playing. And I said, well, if you only have 14 songs, my guess is the third time around, know they are. <laughs> yeah. you're going to pretty much know yeah. what they are. Yeah. And <laughs> wow. The depressing thing is I charge it overnight and it doesn't run. Oh, so it's kind of dead. It's kind of, well, you know, it shows up as a drive because it's flash memory, so it doesn't need the battery, but the little watch doesn't run. Mm. Um, it was it was pretty elegant for its time. It had a little button that with a graphic equalizer. Again, you couldn't tell what what you were in, but you just pressed it up to five times so you could hear the five different uh, <laughs> sounds, styling sounds, you know, yeah. the normal pop, classic rock Um it the list price was two hundred bucks, but they said we well, you know it's probably going to retail more around one forty nine. But I mean, six years ago, one forty nine for one hundred and twenty eight uh, megabytes that held four, uh, fourteen songs, that was not much. No, no, it yeah. was a deal. It was a deal. And that was only, you know, it's funny, that was only like six or seven years ago. I mean, time's yes, changed Yes, so yes, exactly. Yes, yeah, six, six years now and seven years in the morning. Right. As, as, right. As, uh, I yeah. can do the math, let me tell you. Yeah. You know what, also, Leo, how does it work? If you go to, uh, to their website, the website is there. Yeah. But if you click on anything, it goes to one of those fake websites where they're just trying to get you to click on something else. Oh, the site's dead, basically. So any other yeah. page is meaningless. Yeah. yeah. So who gets to go in there to set up? Uh, you know, I just don't know how that works. Well, what's, so, the, what's the tech, site? Te uh, techno. Well, let me look at the box. It's probably they're just that their, their, their domain is expired and there was a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Techno Tunes. Yeah, I mean, they're long gone. -N -O -T -U -N -E -S, techno Tunes. T-E-C-H-N-O-T-U-N-E-S. Techno and it comes up with a picture of the watch. Yeah, there's a site there, but if you click yep. anything, it, it goes away, huh? It'll go to... Oh, like technotunes.net doesn't exist. But .com exists, but oh, .net okay. does not. So it's like they, not. they, have, so two different, okay. they have two different no, addresses. But, but then, even though they gave up the website, someone just, their provider just left the page up there? <laughs> I don't know. It's all a great... I don't know how the internet works, but something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you don't know, no, no <laughs> one knows. Well, what yeah. I notice is that technotunes.com works, but not technotunes.net. And unfortunately, any link that you click here takes you to te technotunes.net, which gives you a... It, yeah, it's uh, one of those things where they just send you to... Link they're looking farm. for you to click on yeah. links and yeah. buy something that they'll right. get credit for. Yeah, so they obviously, they let the domain expire. Well, anyway... <clears throat> um, that's as close as I can get. Music, New Year's Eve music. There, there's a thin... You know, Dick, I wouldn't want you to do anything here at the end of the year, 2010, that would change our standard for kind of pretty much crappy stuff all year long. Yeah, that's true. So We're you've going maintained. Out with an unblemished record. Yeah, going out with a bang. Yeah. No, with a whimper, really. Yeah. We're going pretty much going out. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. But isn't that what everyone does on New Year's Eve? You know what yeah. is good news? What? Is there still time? There's still time. <gasps> Just hours, though, Just right? hours left to participate. 
Let me talk about Ford Sync, and then I'll tell you about the contest that is okay. almost, yeah, yeah. almost, almost over. Ford is, of course, our sponsor. We love Ford. They make great vehicles. They're bringing the pride back to America. To, to, they're really, I heard somebody the other day say it, and I think it's absolutely true. They are driving the recovery here in the United States by making great vehicles that are every bit as good as the best vehicles anywhere in the world. A vehicle I'm proud to drive. I'm a 2010 Ford Mustang owner, and I love my Mustang. I mean, it is solid. It is well-made. And, of course, it has that great Ford Sync. Ford Sync is literally the state-of-the-art in, uh, what would you call it? Uh, Hands-free calling, turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions, 911 assist, and more. You can, you can say, you know, Call Dick uh, on his cell phone, and and and, the, and it will call him. You could say, uh, "Take me to a, the local uh, Sizzler," and it'll drive you there. Well, it doesn't. You have to do the driving. But it'll tell you how to, how to get there. <laughs> and by the way, if traffic is bad, it will re reroute you around the bad traffic. It also gives you weather forecasts, sports scores. Uh, it, it really is as if you're talking to the car and, it, and it's talking back to you. They're smart because it really makes you love the car even more. If you haven't tried the new Ford Sync, I want you to go to your Ford, Lincoln, or Mercury dealer. It's standard in some models, optional in others. If you test drive a car, any one of those great vehicles, make sure it, it has the Ford Sync in there. And you should ask because the dealers, almost all of them have a Ford Sync expert. Usually it's, it's one of the younger geeks, you know, who just loves showing off the Sync and He'll show you all the cool things it does. It's really amazing. You can also go to SyncMyRidePodcast.com. That's the website where they have videos and so forth to show you what Sync can do. Now, this is the thing. This is the last day for the 2012 Ford Focus Global Test Drive Challenge. Here's your chance to go to Madrid, Spain, and be one of the first people in the world to test drive the brand new Ford Focus is coming out early next year. You could be there. And not only that, winners will also get $10,000 to donate to the charity of their choice. Ford's giving away half a million dollars in all, which I think is wonderful. Here's how you participate. Go to twitfordfocus.com. Now, contest expires at the end of December 31st, 2010. So you've got to go there right now. You got to make a two-minute video saying why you should go to Madrid with me. Why you should be able to uh, get ten thousand dollars for the charity of your choice, and they'll pick the winners from those videos. Uh, in all the instructions, everything are there. It is a Facebook page, twitfordfocus.com. Good luck to you. I'm really looking forward to this to get to test drive that brand new, gorgeous Ford Focus. It is, it is, it is literally the car I've been waiting for all year. I'm very excited about it, and we thank Ford for their support of the Daily Gizwiz Show. Remember, last chance. TwitFordFocus.com. Get there right now for your chance to win. Happy New Year. And, go ahead. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Oh, it's also the last day to play the What the Heck Is It game. Oh, we got to mention that, yes, too. Well, yes, go ahead and yes. read your letter, and I'll get What the Heck Is It going here. Okay. Um, George Van Wagner writes. Mm, come I on. Know you're Is that his real name, George Van Wagner? Come on. V-A-N-W-A-G-N-E-R. Oh, right. George Van Wagner. I take it back. I know you're always concerned when Leo's going to pull out a two by four for Turn the <laughs> Table Tuesday. Dick, I say cut him off at the pass with a modern high tech replacement for the two by four. Yes. Steel structural framing. Oh, dear. <laughs> like Dietrich Ultra Steel Framing. Oh, this is an ad. No, no, I have no connection with Dietrich. Oh. It's just the first thing that comes up when you do a Google search. That will force Leo to come up with something else for his fallback position, like maybe a rock, which frankly seems more his speed, in parentheses. This is the obligatory trash Leo line that no email seems to be complete without. Yeah, I'm Seriously, used I've to been it. a Yes, we always do it. Yeah. We love it. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we love it. We oh, love it. yeah, I love it. Oh, oh, oh I gotta love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. 
sorry. <laughs> Seriously, I've been a fan of the Daily Gizmos from the beginning. I'm a lifelong Mad fan. My favorite movie satire of all time is still the Poop Side Down Adventure. Oh yeah, now you wrote that. I, I did write that. I got to know Kelly Fries, who did a number of post Normingo Alfred E. Newman covers a bit late in his life, which is a great, great treat. Thank you guys for all the laughs. George Von Wagner. Thank you, George Van Jogner. Not his real name. Not his real name. So, Dick, Dick, it's the last day of the year. That means the last chance to play the What the Heck Is It contest. And you I'm going to hold up the new cover. Just one second. Okay, you go to gizwiz.biz. You click on the link there. What the heck is it? And uh, let's see. What is what is the some sort of weird doodad or gizmo? I have to zoom in on that. What It looks like a button. It's a Pac-Man button. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Oh, I know what it is. Actually, I do know what that is, so I'm not going to say Really? It. Yeah, it's a pizza cutter. Oh, well, I, can't, I cannot confirm nor deny. It's a really thin pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no hints for me. No, no, no. But if you go there no. and you got till the end of the, 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 the day. day till, till, till midnight. Yeah. Midnight tonight. To come time. up either with the right answer. He's got 12 magazines for the right answer. Or a cute, silly answer. He's got 24 magazines. And what do they win, Johnny Olson? They will win the February issue of MAD, which is our 20 dumbest people, events, and things of 2010. Let me guess. The BP oil spill might be in that yes, list. Yeah. Yes. I, I wrote the, uh, you had the big egg uh, uh, debacle out there, right? The salmonella in eggs. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. Yeah, uh, so I wrote the, uh, I'm looking for it here, the industry reply letter that, you know, they ran big ads in, in uh, the New York Times right. and all the papers here. Right. I said they did it, you know. So I wrote that. A message from Americans Egg Farmers. You may have heard about the recent egg call. You may have heard about it while you were throwing up in the toilet after eating. <laughs> An egg. <laughs> right. No need to panic. It's not every egg. It's only the round white, the oval white and oval brown one. Oh, that there is a damn. The chocolate Easter eggs are not involved in this recall. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> anyway. Uh, That's fun. So, yeah. So you can win the Mad 20. And to the what the heck is it? Last chance, gizwiz.biz. Well, happy new year, Dick. I hope you have a great new year. Boy, Eve. you too, pal. I look so forward to doing this again. I look forward to us doing this at CES. Oh, and yeah, yeah. That's coming up in like a week. Yeah, yeah. We'll be there. We're going to do, uh, I think, five episodes from the uh, Showstoppers or Pepcom? Hey, we're going to we're gonna do, uh, yes, five episodes from Showstoppers. That'll be a lot of fun. There's always some really cool gadgets there. And it'll be it'll be a chance to see something brand new that nobody's seen before. And, uh, and, and I heard you on, on radio say something that, that is very true, is that a lot of times we'll see stuff that is due for the Christmas season of the year we'll, following. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see uh, we'll see stuff saying uh, this is what we hope to come out for the summer. Right. So you really do get a, a, a look ahead. Yeah. And, so and to as speak. we've learned over the years, that uh, sometimes things never get to the marketplace right. when everybody says, "Oh, that's nice. not interesting." Yes, yes. I can think of a few things that we saw last year at CES that never came out. On the other hand, we saw a ton of 3D TVs, remember? Those are, those are all out now. Um, yes. We did see a lot of ebook readers, some of which came out, some of which didn't. So, so yeah, some of them a lot died. Of tablets. So, anyway, that'll be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll TV see. Hat made it. TV, TV Hat. hat. They, they listened to us and they, they, they raised the price by $10. <laughs> Dick, I will see you in the new year. Have a great, happy new year. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. I'll be here. D-A-I-L-Y. It's the Daily Gizwiz. It's the Daily Gizwiz. It's the Daily Gizwiz. It makes its own gravy. Yeah.